and this is the Computer and Networking Security Courses Lab 5 tutorial. In this tutorial, I take you step by step through the guide with a little bit of a variation until the guide gets updated. But if you follow the tutorial, you should be able to finish the lab. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to start here on the course homepage. And over on the left side, we'll go down to Course Tools and down to Online Labs. We'll click this link right here. That'll take us to the Online Labs page. We'll go down to number 5. This is the lab we'll be working on right here. So we'll just go ahead and click on this link. And that will take us over to the Toolwire Lives Lab page. We need to scroll down here so I can see the Lab Access link. Go down and click this link, and that should take us over to the workstation that we'll be working on. The first thing that we need to do is open up the ISSA RDP folder, which is right here. If you can't see the whole name like this, it'll show up kind of um, truncated like this. Just select it and you'll be able to see the full name. So let's open it up and go to the first target Windows 01. Double click on this and you'll get to the login screen. Administrator's already typed in here, so I'm just going to type in the password. Password's in the guide. After the password, hit OK and wait for it to log in. It usually takes a second. Ah, a few seconds. And now the connect to server window will pop up. Just all you need to do is hit OK. All this information is, is already fine, so it's OK. And there you go, the file server, FileZilla server is running. And now let's minimize this so we can get back to the first workstation. We just needed to get that started. So we don't need this anymore. Let's go ahead and close this. Now the first thing that we're going to do here is go down to the Start menu on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Click on Start and then run and type in CMD. It's already in there for me so I'm going to hit OK. And um, we need to ping. So let's ping the, the system we just started. So that's ping 172.30.0.8 and you'll see some successful pings. This, uh, there's no firewall blocking those pings. So we don't need this anymore so let's go ahead and close this window out. and now go down and uh, maximize the other workstation. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to ping the the first workstation. So let's go down to start and run again. And this time CMD is not in there for me, so I'm going to type it in. And then I'm going to click OK. And here I'm going to ping the other desktop. So that's 172.30.0.2 and you'll see successful pings again. So there's no firewall blocking either two systems. I'm going to close this, and um, actually let's go ahead and minimize this window here, get back to the first workstation, and we're going to uh, find the FileZilla icon here. So let's open this up. After this launches, I'm going to move this here so it's easier to see. There we go. First thing we need to do is in the host field here. Type in the IP address 172.30.0.8. Student uh, under username student, and the password is in the guide. And the port for this is 21. And then um, we'll just click the quick connect button. And you'll see, here we are, we're successfully connected. You'll see a local site and remote site, so it splits the, the UI in two. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy a file over. So let's go down on the local site, site and find security strategies. And you'll notice if you just click once, that right below them the, the containing files show up. So if you click, see, I think click over, there you go. But we're going to double click this, so let's double click this and double click again on the ISSA tools and then just click once on documentation and its contents will show up in the pane below. We're going to stretch this out a little bit so we can see the names. Okay, any connect admin guide. That's what we're going to try to copy over to the root folder on the remote site. And the root folder here is a slash. So let's copy this, drag this over and just drop it on top of the uh, folder there. And there we go. Successfully Transferred. Transferred OK. So we want to verify that this has really happened. So it says it's there. So let's close this out. 
and then go back to our other workstation where we transfer the file. And here in the server window, you can see it has a, a transfer OK, and there's the actual name of the file. But uh, we're going to actually find it. So let's scoot this over and open up my computer. It's right here. Let's open this up. And then let's double click on C drive, which is oh, Windows. That's the Windows root. And down, you'll see down here, there it is, any connect admin guide. So we've successfully transferred that file. Nothing blocked us from actually doing that, that type of transmission. So we don't need this. Let's go ahead and close this. And now we need to open up the tftpd32se admin link. There, right there. Let's go a uh, shortcut. Let's double click on this and uh, bring up this window so we can start establishing some FTP communications. So the first thing that we need to do with this window is we need to activate the client part because the other system is going to be the server. So Let's click this tab here, and then at this point we don't need to do anything yet. We need to get the server running. So let's go ahead and minimize this screen, and get back to the first workstation, and we're going to double click on the same icon on this on this desktop here. So let's find the tftpd32se admin shortcut. Let's open that up, and in this particular case, let me move this. You'll see that the the TFTP, TFTP server tab is already selected. If it's not for you, make sure you select it. And that's it. Maximize the other screen. And now we just need to put in the details to make the connection or the transfer. So it's 172 for host.30.0.2. And then the port in this case is 69. And then I'm just going to click this button here to find the file that we want to transfer. So let's find that original file. So my computer, the C drive, the root directory, and then any connect. So there we go. And just hit open. And that'll put the file in there for you. No typos. So the only thing we need to do now is click the put button and that will transfer the file over. So let's go over here and click put. And very quickly you'll see that it transferred that file. Very quick. Let's click OK. And we've had a successful transfer. Don't need this anymore. And we minimize this screen. Go back to the first one. And we shrink that down for now. We need to go to the Start menu and the Settings, and then Control Panel. We're going to set up the firewall. Let's scroll down this window to the bottom to we'll see Windows Firewall at the bottom. Let's open this up, double click, and that'll launch the firewall window. So here you'll see it's off and you need to turn in a screenshot of this to the instructor. So take a screenshot of your system showing the screen and turn that into the instructor. And after you've downloaded it and prepared it, we need to turn this on. So let's go over to on and then click the exceptions tab. And when you click this, you also need another screenshot of the exceptions tab. So when you do this, make sure you take a, a screenshot of this as well. Then click on the Advanced tab, and here take a, yet another screenshot and turn that in as well. You'll have to turn in all of those screenshots in, to, in order to complete the lab. Now let's we need to configure some of these settings. So you'll see right here. Let's go over to um, uh, the Settings button. Let's click on this and go ahead and check the box under Services for the FTP server. Click that. And this little dialog comes up. We don't need to change anything, just hit OK. Click OK here. And then click OK down here as well. So click that, and then click OK again. So we've set up the firewall, and we've um, actually specified a service. So let's go ahead and start menu, run, CMD again. It's already there, so I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to test a ping. So let's ping the other workstation. So it's 172.3.0, oh, and then there you go. And you'll see it's successful pings because the firewall is running here, not over there. And we'll see that shortly. So let's go down to the other one, and let's do the same thing. Let's try to ping the workstation we were just on that we started the firewall on. So here again with CMD, hit OK. And in this window, Let's try and ping the one with the firewall running. 3002. And we don't see any successful pings. 
So the requests are timing out. I'm going to go ahead and let this, this run all four pings. Okay, there we go. It's 100% loss. Okay, now let's go over to the this shortcut again for the FTP. Click on Client tab again. And now let's go back to the other workstation. We're going to repeat what we were doing earlier, but now we have a firewall running, so we'll see what the differences are. And let's, let's, let's just go ahead and eliminate all these windows here so that we can go step by step. Let's go ahead and close all of these. Get this down. Now go down to the TFTPD admin. So let's double click on that. And server is running. Click on that one. Now let's go back to the other workstation. Click on this here and come over and under host. Type in again 172.30.0.2 and the port number is 69. And then let's find the local file again. So I'll click here. Here it already is, is there, but just in case you're not there, let's go ahead and go back to my computer, C, and there you go. And then hit open. And now click put. And let's see what happens. Nothing. And you get this block number zero that lets you know that it was unsuccessful. It couldn't transfer anything. So let's go ahead and minimize the screen. And let's go ahead and close that. We don't need that anymore. So let's open up FileZilla again. And you'll see here, look, Windows Firewall enabled. Uh, so it's telling you it's having issues. Thank you. <laughs> now let's go ahead and try that login again. So it's 172.30.0.8. Student again under username. The same password. Nothing's changed here. And the same port, which is 21. And then click Quick Connect. And we should connect right up because remember the firewall's on this side, not on the other one. And there you go. What we're going to do is we're going to do this transfer again of the AnyConnect guide. So in case you need to go back, uh, there's the, the location. So let's go ahead and drag this over, back over to the root there like we did before. So let's drag this file over and drop it. And since the file already exists, we'll just go ahead and tell it to overwrite. That's fine. Just click OK. And there we go. Successful transfer. So we've successfully transferred that file over to the other system. The other system was not running the firewall. So there's the end of this particular lab. Well, that concludes the Lab 5 tutorial. I hope it was helpful. If you have any comments, suggestions, recommendations, or if you'd just like to see any other tutorial done, please leave a comment down below or send an email to charlie.tutorials at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.